Good morning, Arizona. Well, Mom always said, eat your breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Well, now One Valley School District is making sure every child starts the day off right. And Tess Raffles is live at Whitman Elementary School in Mesa with more on how school cafeteria food has changed these days. Tess, good morning. Good morning, Scott. School cafeteria food has certainly changed in a lot of ways, but have you ever heard of breakfast in the classroom? That is what's happening this morning over here in Ms. Lawfer's second grade class at Whitman Elementary School. It's a great new program that uh, started last year, and now some 20 schools in Mesa are participating in this. Craig Wydell is a supervisor of the Mesa School Food and Nutrition Program, and this is just one way you guys are making sure kids eat a healthy meal. You know, Tess is right, and what your mother always told you, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So we implemented our breakfast in the classroom program about two years ago, and currently we're doing 20 sites here in Mesa. And each morning, five days a week, children come in, start their day with breakfast in the classroom, and we find that it uh, not only helps them to learn better, but it also reduces tardiness and also trips to the school nurse because they don't have a stomach ache or a headache because they didn't eat breakfast. And this is just one of the ways you guys are uh, making sure this year that healthy nutrition is a big message in all schools, not just elementary level, but junior high and high school. Very much so, and you know, this is something not new to us in child nutrition, but we used to kind of hide these things with, with the fact that the schools, the foods are nutritious, but we find now that the kids are uh, more astute and they want to know what they're eating, so now uh, we're not hiding it, hiding it as much. Give me an example of what a uh, cafeteria meal, lunch meal may sound like. Well, you know, popular item, probably the number one item in, in schools across the nation is pizza, and most people don't think of pizza as a healthy thing, but mm -hmm. our manufacturers have... Um, really helped us out and come to the point and they, by doing uh, reduced fat cheeses, uh, reduced fat meat that we put on there, we use poultry products for our, our pepperoni and sausage and also it's a whole grain crust so it's a lot more fiber and a lot better for the kids. And I've heard you've expanded to different kinds of cultures as well, even incorporating gyros or Asian bowls. We have very much so. We find that ethnic, just like when you go to the mall or, or your favorite restaurants, they're, they're uh, serving more kids with, with ethnic things. And we do have Asian bowls now that we offer uh, daily at our high schools and also throughout uh, junior highs. And then we're doing gyros. Uh, we're doing more vegetarian type of options also for the kids. That is awesome. Before we go, Ms. Linda, I have to ask you, how much does breakfast in the classroom make a difference, do you think, for your kids? Oh, it's been a really nice um, program in here. We have less tardies at the school and um, the kids come in and sometimes they're really excited about what they get to eat for breakfast so it's been really good awesome coming up at 8 30 you guys we're going to head over into the cafeteria where there's even now a fruit and vegetable bar where kids can eat unlimited amounts of all that healthy good stuff so we'll take you into the cafeteria coming up at 8 30. what do you guys have here real quickly what are you eating mm. do you know applesauce watermelon applesauce scott <laughs> how fancy are we getting Man. watermelon applesauce i guess it's too <laughs> early for pizza huh <laughs> a little too early for pizza maybe for lunch thanks tess <laughs>